Hello family, welcome to day six aboard Carnival Celebration. Today is a sea day. One of the things I have on schedule is a tailgate party class. I never did one of these classes aboard Carnival, so I'm excited about that. And then I will get into doing some things I have not done all cruise long as well. Maybe try out something I haven't eaten, something I haven't done all cruise long. So let us go. So fam, I had Shaq's Big Chicken for lunch and I finished up my review, the Grilled Chicken Edition. Make sure you go and check that out. And so I'm getting ready to go to the tailgate party class. I'm excited about it. I've never done something like this before. So come along with me on this journey. So Carnival Kitchen is on the sixth floor. I am going to be a little early, but I want to just get up there in time. First time being being a part of this whole process with cooking in a, on a in a cooking class on a ship. So let's go check it out. Carnival Kitchen is just past Emerald's the Bistro. And so, I guess it's not open yet. Standing outside of Carnival Kitchen, just waiting to go inside and see what this is all about. So before coming in here, they have you fill out the questionnaire. You just ask if you were in contact with anybody that had the flu, have you had any gastro inter gastro issues within the last three days or so. So just know that they have you fill out the health questionnaire. They also say that you must wash your hands and follow the protocols of the Carnival Kitchen. So be aware of the, of the fact that you will have to fill out a questionnaire before coming into the class. I guess this is the screen that we can get to see what the person is cooking. This is the station I'll be cooking at. That is for your soft pizza. So when we are going to prepare soft pencil dough, we need to grab that ingredients from your second layer. Yes. And third item, we are going to prepare that is a cheese empanada, or you can say a queso. Queso means cheese. So cheese empanada we are going to prepare. So first you will find there is a shredded mozzarella, white cornmeal, and one bowl with turmeric powder, onion powder, and garlic powder together. So that is for your cheese empanada. That third layer, or that three items. Next, you will find Franco bread crumb. When we are going to crunch these chicken poppers, we are going to use two whole eggs. Later, I will explain. Also, baking soda. That also I explain you later on and some amount of flour in a steel bowl. Also, we have a quartz sea salt in a small blanket. These four items or five items we keep inside. Later I will explain for what purpose we are keep inside. Also you will find there is a three condiments. One in a small blanket you will find there is a cheese sauce, that yellow color cheese sauce. So when you are going to taste your soft pencil, if you want, you can add the cheese sauce which you are tasting, right? This is cheese sauce for your pencil. Second one, onion, tomato, chili and cilantro salsa. That is for your empanada. And third one is ranch dressing. So if you want to taste your chicken poppers with ranch dressing, that is option, okay? So I hope Everyone understand what the ingredients we are going to use and we also keep all the ingredients in a such a manner or such a way so it is 
easier for you to make these three ideas. Still, during your preparation time, if you find any difficulties or any challenges, please ask me, you can ask, ask Elsiana as well. I'm a regular chef. This is what I made. Pretzels, empanadas. Some chicken bones. So I am back from the tailgate party class. I had a great time. It started at 2.30 and ended around 4 o'clock. You cooked, you had a chance to eat what you cooked, sat down at the table, and they gave me this keepsake, this spatula, as a momentum of the class. It was a great class, I enjoyed myself, and so let us go to see what is happening around the cruise ship. Family, what a night it has been so far. So I saw two shows tonight so far, the world works here is one of them and the world works here is where they give a tribute to all of the different nationalities that is on board this ship and so therefore they allow individuals to come with different flags and they come onto the stage and I love the fact that they really celebrate how many nationalities is on board this ship and after that more or less still dealing with different nationalities and oneness and togetherness and these are the themes of these two shows they have a show called we are one and in this show there's acrobats there is singing there is dancing there's costume changes from different parts of the world different types of music and from different parts of the world and so it just really has the theme tonight of togetherness and being one and we are the world and we are each other's brothers and sisters in this world that we live in and I thought the shows were phenomenal so I'm gonna let you see a little piece of both of those shows now. celebrating our differences. Take a look around this room. We have people from all around the country, all around the world. Each of us different. Different genders, different races, different religions. We believe different things. We love different people. There are countless reasons in this world that we can call ourselves different. But underneath it all, we have hearts that beat. We have blood flowing through our veins. So tonight, let's come together as one. Whether this is your first cruise, your 31st cruise or your 101st cruise, you are all now a part of the Carnival family. Now for dinner tonight, I decided to go to Guy's Pig and Anchor, you know, barbecue food. Now, there is a menu on Carnival Celebration where it can be free for dinner. It is usually free for lunch, but they have a menu that can be free, no, char no charge, if you decide to have dinner at the Pig and Anchor. And so they give you three choices of meats three choices of sides and you get one choice of dessert so i decided to have the brisket for my protein the chicken and i asked for dark meat and i wanted also the sausage and for my sides i wanted macaroni and cheese i got beans and I also got the slaw. And so 
Let's break it down one by one. You know how I do. Brisket, I thought the brisket was great. It was fatty, it was flavorful. And then I love from them the brown sugar sweet and sticky sauce. So I thought that with the sauce especially, but even without it, it was just flavorful. I gave it a five out of five. I love that brisket. I know some people are barbecue aficionados and so they probably tasted brisket somewhere that's better and but I've had brisket at certain places and I did not care for it this was soft and fatty and I mean it was just like it was just so good um it wasn't chewy in the mouth and I thought it was great especially with the barbecue sauce I gave it a five out of five when it came to the chicken the chicken dark meat was flavorful I thought it was flavorful and then the sauce again just added a different element of flavor to it. Um, it was moist. Um, it didn't give notes of like heatness and complex flavors. It was just um, dark chicken. And so I gave it a four out of five. Then the other protein was the sausage. I thought the sausage it had cheese in the middle of the sausage. I thought that the sausage was just okay. Um, it wasn't exceptional. It wasn't over the, it wasn't bad. So I gave it like a three out of five. It was just okay. It wasn't, it didn't give any elements of really like heat and it just was just a small piece of sausage. So I gave it a three out of five. When it came to the size, the macaroni and cheese, I love macaroni and cheese. The thing about this macaroni and cheese, I hate when you go to certain restaurants and it's soupy. It was not soupy. It was, I don't know how sure they were pre prepared it. Maybe I don't know I'm sure if they baked it, but whatever, how they prepared it, it was not soupy. The flavors were there and I love the flavors that they had. Was it the best? No, it wasn't. You know, nothing like a nice baked macaroni and cheese. It was a small portion as well. So I gave it a three out of five. It was it was good. It wasn't exceptional. So I gave it a three out of five. The beans was not good. It didn't do anything for me. There was no flavors to it. It, it didn't have uh, flavors like salt or heat or sweet. It, it was just blah. It's almost as if like it came out of a can you, you warmed it up and put it on the plate and added nothing to it. It was just plain to me. And so that had to be a one out of five. It was not good. The slaw, same thing, didn't really give any flavor um, in the slaw. It was just like shredded and heated up and not much flavor. I didn't feel, it just, it just didn't do it for me. And once again, I had to give it like a one out of five. No sweetness, no no real heat, no you know saltiness. It just wasn't. It was just flat, just flat in flavor. Um, so that was the slaw. When it came to the apple cobbler, now I thought I liked the apple cobbler. Um, I'm not a apple cobbler aficionado to say what's the best apple cobbler. So I thought that the apple cobbler was good, but it needed something to cut the tartness of those apples. And so I asked for them to give me, you know, and guys on, on, on celebration, they have the soft serve ice cream. So I needed something to cut the tartness. So I did ask for the soft serve ice cream. And when I asked for it and I had it with the the cobbler, it was it was good, but it really should come with it. Like it really should have a little cup of ice cream or something that comes along with that cobbler. So middle of the road, it, it was sweet. It had some tartness to it. I gave it a three out of five. Um, but but the it was that ice cream really needs to be there to cut some of the tartness. Of it, but it had a good amount of sweetness to it. Not overly sweet, but it was good enough to me. Um, sometimes I don't really care for things that are overly sweet anyway, but sometimes you still need something to cut some of the tartness or if something is 
sweet and maybe something to cut some of the sweetness of whatever it is that you're eating. And so that was my night. I decided to do um, those things. I um, hope you like the footage of it. I am supposed to be going to another event. The Evolution is supposed to be this big party. Family, the Evolution party was crazy. It was in the center stage. It was phenomenal. You had the DJ, but what I didn't realize, they also had musicians coming in. They had some of the singers dancing. It would just became a really big thing. And so it was awesome. I'm glad that I went there for a few, a, a little bit of time. I didn't stay for the whole thing, but it was really good. I'm going to show you a little bit of a video from that show. And I, I will bid you goodbye. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. Thank you for coming to see about my experience on Carnival Celebration. This is day six. One more day to go, guys. Day seven. Hopefully, you can come and join me on day seven.